Hello everybody, T-Rex here, and you're in the T-Rex Mobile. It's June 6th of 2012, and uh, giving you a life in the day of T-Rex. We've got a few missions to accomplish today. But first and foremost, as you guys can see, let me cock this up a little bit. I need a haircut. It's been a while, I need a haircut. It's getting a little too, too wavy and too thick up there. I need someone to help me shorten it down. So where do I go? Where does T-Rex go? Don's Barbershop, baby. It's right here in downtown Hammond. Or just past downtown Hammond. It's off of Foman. Been going to Don's since I was a little kid. Hooks me up with a good haircut, man. So, okay, here we go. This is the before. Make sure you guys get all good looking at the hair. Okay. All right, see the thickness? Got to trim that down. It's summertime. Got to be, got to be able to breathe up there on that head. Hey guys, as you can see, I got my hair cut done. Don did an excellent job making T-Rex look nice, thin hair, so I can feel the wind in my hair better. It's not as wavy, a little bit more controllable. Awesome. But now, what we've done is we've also gone to Calumet Harley over here in Munster. And I made contact. I'm trying to set up a cool uh, motorcycle video for you guys. It's in the works. I made the contact, left the information. So stay tuned to that. I've got some cool ideas for that uh, coming in the coming weeks as a cool video. In the meantime, though, we've moved from Munster and Calumet Harley to now over here in Griffith. And where in Griffith? Creative Comics, baby. Me and Stu's little uh, diamond in the rough as far as comics are concerned. So I'm going to go inside here because I haven't been here in a few weeks. Uh, I know Jim's got a few things for me to pick up. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here and see what kind of good stuff he's got for me this time around, okay? It's, a, prequel, it's a prequel of the brand new uh, Watchmen. Um, it's a prequel of, of the movie, basically. Okay. This is like the how the characters started, an early tale. All right. And they're doing one of all the characters. Okay. I liked it. How about, oh, well, have you reviewed the, ne the next issue here? Uh, basically, the Phoenix Force has now came to hope, and uh, some crazy stuff happens. <laughs> All right. You know, one more issue, and me and Stu have already talked, and we're going to bring you in, uh, probably on my show on a Saturday, and we'll discuss how the series is going so far. Earth 2, you said Stu was talking about this one. That is the one with the... Uh, Earth 2 is the one with the... Um, they announced that Alan Scott, the uh, Green Lantern from the Golden Age, is uh, homosexual. <laughs> is that a fact? Yeah. Oh, no wonder Stu's interested. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, Extermination. Extermination is a new boom book. It's an independent comic. Uh, basically, it's the end of the world. Aliens have killed almost everything off. And uh, the world's greatest hero must team with the world's most dangerous villain to survive. Interesting. Basically, it's Batman and Lex Luthor team up again. And it's in yeah, okay. cover. Different cover, same book? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. And then uh, you were just telling me about this one here. Uh, Sabretooth's back to life, and they pretty much explain how it happened. Now, how, what happened to him? How did he die? Uh, there's a mystical sword. I can't think of the name of it right now. Is able to kill Wolverine, able to kill Sabretooth, and Wolverine beheaded him with it. I was just about to say, you have to behead him in order to mm -hmm. kill Wolverine or, yeah. or Sabretooth. It has to be a certain blade where it doesn't allow them to heal back. Cool. Now, you talked about The Walking Dead coming uh, to your store soon. Now, look, this is a new uh, novel you've got in here for Rise of the Governor. The Governor is the new character that's going to be out in, on next season's Walking Dead TV series. Um, a uh, pretty bad person. And that's okay. kind of going to say how he rose in power with that group. And uh, I'm assuming Georgia Governor or, or Atlanta, right? Just a oh, no. guy who took uh, control of a group of people. And he All just right. likes to be called the Governor. Cool. All right. And let's uh, let me get a little shot of this. This is a new thing here, the Text VIP Club, right? Yes, yes, it's actually working out pretty well for us. All right, so here we go. Text three six zero zero zero, message comics, and you get exclusive offers, updates, and pretty much you keep us in the form on what's going on in the comic world with that. You would be in the inner circle, At the, the Annie Secret Group, right? Yes. All right. Be part of our. All right, League. ladies and germs. We've just finished up here at Creative Comics. It's uh, 216 East Main Street in Griffith, Indiana. It's mine and Stu's little home away from home. Uh, got a lot. Talk to Jim. Great guy. 
they'll hook you up if you you know you need to get involved in comics or you've got kids who are getting into comics or want to get into that talk to Jim he knows exactly what you know to get you started in uh, I got some cool stuff from him uh, found a issue number one of a Superman action comics the very first uh, comic uh, that was ever made for Superman and I was joking with Jim I said you're really gonna let me walk away with 2.7 million dollars for paying only five bucks for it? <laughs> It's not the original. It's a reprint of the original, so it's not as valuable. But uh, may still put it up on eBay later. We'll see what happens. But uh, no, in all seriousness, go talk to Jim here. Uh, Creative Comics, cool place to hang out at if you're a comic book guy or girl. Uh, like I said, Big Stew's over here a couple times a week or a month, and he's hanging out. It's where I hang out. So come check these boys out now. It's going on the afternoon hours now, so we need to mosey on back to the casa, grab our additional equipment, and then mosey on over to WJOB.